Well, the Ops Room is um, uh, is a facility that we've had pretty much from the beginning of, of the team. So, so back in, the, in, in 2010, we, we established it. Um, it's, it's actually one of our uh, meeting rooms, so it's not a dedicated space, and we have to convert over to, to using it every, every race weekend. But it's, it's an essential area for the people who need to be looking at track data to find that, to have a focus place and a, and a way of being able to uh, bring all the data in from the circuit. So it, it is a room where we have connections to the track, so we have a direct intercom connection to, to the track both on the pit wall, we have direct, direct contact with the, um, with, the, with the car in terms of one way traffic from, from the radio from, from the drivers. And we also have the direct contact with the, the guys who sit in, in the race truck. Um, on top of that, then we have video feed from all of the um, from the satellite TV feed. So we've got the the, the most up to date TV feed that we can get. So it's as, as live as we can get the information. And we also have a telemetry feed off off the car. So we have timing data from the FIA. Um, we also have all GPS data from from all of the cars, so we know where where the cars are on the track. So we're pretty much replicating what you can see at the track, besides physically being there. And for me, the advantage of that is is it's creating an environment, and and uh, it's a sort of a working environment that's in line with what's going on the track. So there's there's a real sense of focus, and there's a real sense of um, attention there. Obviously, if the, if the individuals could probably do a similar job if they're sat out in, in the design office, but they're also getting distracted by other things. So to bring it all together and to make it effectively like another racetrack gives us the advantage then of, of, of increasing the bandwidth of what can be done at the track. We've got a number of areas that are covered. Aerodynamics will have a performance engineer, engineer in there looking at the behaviour of the, of, of the aerodynamics. We have um, uh, somebody from race engineering actually who doesn't travel and, and he's got a, a global role then of looking at, at the general performance of, of the car. Um, also looking out for um, how the performance of other teams are doing around us. So he's doing a lot of competitor analysis. Uh, we have vehicle dynamics uh, represented in there. And again, their responsibility is looking at the ride behavior of the car. So they will be looking at you know, what, what the, the tire load variation of, um, of, of the car is and seeing if, if we're seeing any problems in, in that area. And then we have a couple of people who are looking after systems. So IT are in there making sure all the comms back from the, from the track to us is working and then we have also a systems person from the simulation team and, um, and their responsibility is making sure all the tools that are out of the track are working so because we build and provide all of the, the timing data, the GPS feeds, all of the strategy tools we need somebody out there um, here to make sure that all of that is working so all of the tools that the, um, the guys using the pit wall for maintaining the, the setups of the cars so that all, all of the various departments can see what's going on, we have to make sure that that's all working and correctly updated. So there's actually a lot of activity going on here and if we were to lose the feed back from the track it would be quite a significant impact on, on our ability to, um, to perform at the circuit as well. So it, it's an important role.